Hello, this is Dr. Sophie Lu. I'm a practicing dermatology surgeon based in Taipei, Taiwan. After the launch of the acetylcholic acid in 2017 in Taiwan, many patients asked me why can I choose the cheaper lipodissolve agents such as phospholipid and carnitine here. Some doctors asked me why can I do a head-to-head -head study to compare the treatment response of these different lipodissolve agents. So we have the deoxycholic acid. It's Taiwan and US FDA cleared for lipolysis. It's a very direct agent. We have four bottles here, and each contains two cc of deoxycholic acid. And this one is the phospholipid. Phospholipid is believed to convert triglycerides and cholesterol into more easily metabolized form. It's not allowed to be injected subcutaneously, so we cannot do a head-to-head -head study with this one. Carnitine is believed to transfer the long-chain fatty acids into the mitochondria. Again, it's not allowed to be injected subcutaneously. It can only be injected or infused intravenously. So we cannot do a head-to-head -head study again. Because of the reasons above, I want to do an in vitro lipolysis agents to see the in vitro effects of these different agents. So we have the deoxycholic acid, phospholipid, carnitine, and carnitine plus phospholipid. We also have the normal saline as the comparison group in our following study. So we can see the complete liquefaction of fat after the acetylcholic acid. But with the other four agents, we cannot see this amazing effect. So that's the reason we have to stick to the acetylcholic acid, the only one which is US and Taiwan FDA cleared for lipolysis.